My name is Marcel Mensa. I'm a second year student at Curry College studying information technology and design with a focus on databases. Today what we're going to be going over is an overview of big data. So what is big data? Big data is a field dedicated to the analysis and processing of very large collections of data from many different sources. What this means is that data sets are extremely huge. So they have the potential to be extremely large. It also means that data sets are going to be very complex. And in a big data environment, data sets are so voluminous and complex that traditional data processing has no way of handling it at this time or any time. So what makes big data different? Something that makes it different is that it incorporates many different forms of data, including structured data, semi-structured, unstructured data, random data, and many forms of data that, at the moment, we have no idea where it will come from or what it will look like. Now, in big data, there are mainly five characteristics that you want to look for in a big data set. And for a data set to be considered big data, it must have one or more of these very specific characteristics. These characteristics are its volume, its velocity, its variety, its veracity, and its value. So, volume. What volume refers to is its many sources and many data types. So, volume in big data refers to the obtaining of large amounts of data from many different sources. This can include things like business transactions, social media data, sensor data, machine-to-machine -machine data, and again, many forms of data that we don't really have an idea of what it looks like yet, just because big data is designed to handle new forms of data. The second V of big data, and the second characteristic, is the velocity. Velocity refers basically to the time it takes for data to be acquired and processed. And the processing is important, and we'll talk about that more later on, because it's not really a big data set if you're not doing anything with the data. It's just having a lot of information. So again, the analysis is really key here. The little overview, we have velocities coming in at very unprecedented speeds. We're getting it very fast and we're looking at real-time analysis. Now, the third V of big data is the variety. Variety refers to data coming in from many sources. And this really goes hand in hand with volume in that it refers to the many formats that need to be supported for a big data environment to be a big data environment. So we're looking at things like traditional databases, text, email, video, along with audio data, financial transactions, and many new sources of data, and many that I couldn't list here because there's not that much space on the slide. Now, the fourth V and the fourth characteristic of big data is the veracity. Veracity refers to the isolation of useful data. Um, this is important because the veracity is also the quality assurance of the data. And when talking about veracity, you are identifying invalid data and recognizing white noise. So you're clearing out the data in your big data set that doesn't hold any weight, essentially. And the fifth V of big data is the value. Value is essentially the usefulness of the data to an enterprise or business or whoever's using the big data set. This is, the value is important because it aids analytics. It shows that the data has actual business value. And at the moment, there are so many unknown applications of big data in, or data in big data environments that, again, we don't really know where it's going or where it can go just because of all the possibilities. Now, going off value is business intelligence. Big data plays and has the potential to play a very large role in business. Why? Because we're capable of analyzing very large sets of data simultaneously. So looking over many forms of data from many sources at the same time. And that's the integration of big data. Another thing is we're finding patterns and anomalies at a very large scale. And again, this goes back to you're addressing many forms of data in a big data environment. You can also identify correlations on a very broad scope. And there is a recurring theme here that the many sources do go back to the business intelligence and the applications and the analysis. So some uses, 
you, you've taken the applications and some way to use it is that you have the capability to predict what a customer wants before they know that they want it. A good way to think about this is in relation to a quote by, attributed to Henry Ford saying, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. So in a big data environment, by looking at the many forms of data across a very broad scope, you can really gain a sense of where your business should move forward um, based on trends and previous business experience. In a big data environment, you can also identify customer pain points, again, by looking over previous data sets and analytics. So by pouring over all of the data, you can really see where your business or your enterprise needs to improve. In overview, in, when referring to big data, we're looking at potentially huge data sets, data sets that cannot be processed with traditional systems, environments where the analysis is key, and in big data, the big in big data does not refer to the database's size, because the big data environment is not big data without its analysis. Thank you for attending. Hope you all enjoyed this.